Hello, welcome to my hands and welcome to this little palette. I am Angela. These are my Angela hands. And this is the video that I wanted to do with my Pan That palette, which was brown sugar. I wanted to do a video with my Pan That palette that is like a three-parter. So look at what I've accomplished. This is Wiggles. So this wasn't originally, this isn't actually chai. And as a lot of people know, I've already added in product to ginger, auburn, sorrel. Other than that, henna, chalk, saute, amber, and jamocha are all original. And what I want to do is I want to repan some of these shadows. Oh my gosh, you can see my setup. Oh, hi. <laughs> so I wanted to repan a few of these shades. And I want to preserve some of them. And you'll see which ones I want to preserve. And what I want to do when I repan them is I want to add some of the shadows from this Pixie palette. Because I have discovered I do not love this Pixie palette. I never reach for it. Let me try to cover it. I really just never reach for this Pixie palette. And I was thinking a few months ago that I would want to pan this palette, this Pixie palette, but then I realized I really would not be motivated to do so because none of the shadows in here really make me happy at all. With Brown Sugar, I panned it, but I still love this palette. Like, there's still shades in here that really inspire me and, like, make me excited, even though they're neutrals. I love them. But these, none of them make me excited. So I don't want to waste the product, although I probably will waste some of the product when I combine them, but I kind of don't care. So that's part one, me repressing some of the brown sugar palette. The other part, so part one, repressing. There's gonna be a second and third part. The second part is me picking my new shadows for my palette that I'll show you on camera. And the third part, it's going to be me decorating the cover different. I'm going to try to do an experiment and we'll hope it works. So right now I'm going to preserve, I have a safety pin. I'm going to preserve Chum Wiggles. Oh my gosh, it's not Chai. So I'm going to preserve Wiggles. We're going to keep that. So keep will be over there. I also want to preserve Jamocha. I love how I'm doing this on like the busiest time for me ever but my brain is like we must get this done I'm going to preserve amber I'm going to preserve saute get me in there yes saute is beautiful and my most favorite shadow preserving those and honestly I think I'm going to repan all of these repress oh my gosh Whoops. <gasps> okay, let's get there when we get there. We'll get there when we get there. We get there when we get there. Oh, that's from Incredibles. I'm honestly already feeling better doing this video instead of the other things I should be doing. But what are you gonna do? No one's gonna stop me. And there's chalk. So all of these in this corner are ones I'm gonna repress. I think I'm gonna clean this and get these into bowls now. get super excited. Did I mention that this is my art table and it's always dirty? So remember, those are the ones that I'm keeping. Um, Verminger was in here, which is a mix of ginger from the brown sugar palette and Vermeer from Modern Renaissance. Um, this is Sorrel from Brown Sugar. This is Chalk from Brown Sugar, Henna from Brown Sugar, and Auburn, which is a mix of, it's a mix of a tart shadow, I believe, and um, Auburn from Brown Sugar. So we're gonna decide what from the Pixie palette I will put into where, and I'm gonna try and match the colors up a little bit. So we're gonna start, this one's gonna go into Verminger. Doo -doo -doo. We'll decide later what to do with that, maybe. This is, more similar to 
sorrel, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna just put it into the sorrel, this little... Oop. Sorry for the noises, the clanky clinks. How you guys doing? I am all over the place. And sorry if that reflects that in this video. I'm so happy to be gone with this palette though, this pixie palette. I bought it when I didn't really know too much about makeup and now I'm so happy to be free. There's a little bit more left. Let's. In there is chalk. I'm wondering if I could just put that in there. Let's get back to it. I'm going to put this into Auburn's or Caburn's little receptacle. And I don't think the pixie shadows have names. So there's that in there. This will go into henna, I think for sure. So let's just do that. It has a little bit of shimmer. All of these either are matte or satiny. I think I will mix this into chalk and I will just dump this into Reminger, even though there's probably not enough room in a pan for all of that, but we'll just go for it and see what happens. Okay, woo. I wonder if that's satisfying for some of y'all. So there's brown sugar empty and the pixie palette empty. So I'm gonna crush these all up off camera and I'll be right back. Could these be more well crushed? Yeah, I could have done a little bit more there, but I don't want to do more work. <laughs> I don't wanna work too hard. So I got my trusty isopropyl rubbing alcohol at 70% and we're going to see how this goes. I'm actually going to move my keeps from the brown sugar palette out of the way. I don't want them to get contaminated by the alcohol and I'm going to add a little bit of that alcohol. Sorry that the lighting is a little, I guess maybe I can make the lighting a little better. Is that better? I hope that's better. It needs a little bit more alcohol. Whoop, don't fall. And I just want all of it to get a little wet. I'm gonna scoop up and find, I'm gonna push it in. And again, I'm going to be getting so messy. Kind of pressing it in as I'm scooping and then I'm just going to scoop off any excess and repress. I'm going to repress now with a paper towel a little bit. At least my hand looks really pretty. That's promising. Not too bad. Now I look so beautiful. We're going to call that good. And we won't know for sure how happy the shadow is until I try to use it, but that will be good enough. All right, we have that in our corner. This is Sorrel from the old palette. So let's do Sorrel really quick. I'm gonna fast forward through this now. I was trying to be on top of the mess, but I don't think I can do that. I'll clean up later. You know what? I'm gonna use this to flat to press it. Why didn't I think of that or something? Like, why didn't I think of that? That presses it really good. <laughs> Sorry if that's like so unprofessional. Look at, that was pretty good. Um, my bad. Should have done that before. I think, at least. Okay. Look how gorgeous. I promise I'll clean everything up later. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna clean everything. I am so sorry. Oh, uh, okay, somewhat cleaned. I'm so, so, my hands are a little bit better now, but these are the repressed shadows. 
to varying success, I think. Um, this is the Verminger Shadow Repressed. So, Repressed Verminger. Oh boy. And my hands are already getting dirty again. This is Repressed Auburn, Caburn. It's not too much in there because there wasn't, um, I don't know. It was weird. Not, I just pressed it weird, I think. Repressed Henna, I believe. Repressed Sorrel. And repressed chalk. So we'll see how those turn out later. Those are going away. Already dirty again. Oh my gosh. These are the shadows I'm keeping. Now we move on into the making my new pan that palette for next year. And I hope you get excited for this. <laughs> it's actually my new pan that palette will go back into brown sugar. I am gonna cover that mirror because I don't want you to accidentally see like my face you know oh boy so we're going to cover that with sweet talk which brings me to why sweet talk is covering this mirror which is I'm going to take some shadows out of here to be put in brown sugar and I'm going to try to mimic the color story of brown sugar at least mimic like what chai was used for. Jamocha was used as a transition. Amber was a transition, but orangey. I'm going to mimic the usefulness of brown sugar. But this will be my palette for 2021. What I'm making right now, I have already have in mind what I want to do. These three shadows are not originals from the Sweet Talk palette. They are from the Chasing Rainbows palette. And I have spoken before about how this palette is not my favorite. Sweet Talk is just not my favorite. A lot of people raved about it. I don't really get it. So I want to break this palette apart, basically. I love the quality of the shadows. I'm just not into this palette. Where Chai was for brown sugar, I'm going to grab Wiggles again. This was from the Chasing Rainbows palette. This will definitely be a give me shadow in my Pan That Palette project. It already has a good dip and it's going to be really easy to use this, but that's like what chai was for brown sugar. This also isn't from the Sweet Talk palette, I'm just realizing, but I already know that I want to grab this shadow from the Chasing Rainbows palette. I don't remember what it's called, I'll pop up the name of it, but it is one of those shadows that I'm a sucker for. It's like a shimmer with yellow in it, like a light shimmer with yellow. And that's going to go in the place of where Verminger was, for Ginger at the beginning. This will also be kind of a gimme shadow because there's already a dip in it. So that's going there. The other one I am grabbing is definitely Melody. Melody from the Sweet Talk palette. You can already see where I've clawed it out before because I was trying to plan the palette out before. <laughs> Melody is beautiful as well. And it's like, like you see that? Melody is going to be so, this is like, I love, I love the Sweet Talk palette for shadows like this. I just didn't love it for its pressed glitters and I didn't really get the hype, but like this shadow is gorgeous. And I think it's going to go well with that Chasing Rainbows shadow. And that is going to go where, oh my gosh, I might change this, but it's going to go where Auburn is. I am going to grab Feel Free, and that's going to go in the place of where Chalk was. This is from the Sweet Talk palette as well. I think it's a dupe of Chalk, so I'm not even going to swatch it. I'm putting it where Chalk was. Um, What else was I wanting? I think I was wanting this one. I see why am I. I think I wanted this one. I see why am I? Wow. Look at that pigment on that. You can't get mad at that shadow. That is a beautiful shadow. I am putting it where Amber was because it's like a peachy pinky. So like see that color story already just with like three out of those. Sorry, everything is so dirty. I feel like such a filthy troll right now. If you recognize this palette, this is my empty palette full of my neutrals. <gasps> Oh, I think it was that shadow I wanted to use. Ooh. Am I gonna use this one? I don't remember which one this one is. I think this is the one that's originally in Meadow, that Meadow spot. 
this is one of the reasons why I don't like this palette. I took this shadow out because to me, those two are way too similar to be in the same palette. That's me. Might not be you, but that's me. I think I need to move Amber. I mean, whatever this new one is. Let me put that next to that one for now because I don't want to keep changing my mind. I'm going to have to memorize all these names. And then this one, you might know, is my empty palette full of colorful shadows. What, what? Colorful shadows. I already know what I want to do with a couple of these. I want this one because this is from the Chasing Rainbows palette. Again, I'll pop up the name because I don't remember. And this one I also think is from the Sweet Talk palette. Ooh, ah! This one's also from the Sweet Talk palette, I believe, and I'll pop up its name. I don't remember. And then this one. Let's, let's pop those in, because I think that's what we're going to start with. This is Eclipse, I think, from the Chasing Rainbows palette. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful silvery, taupey. Let me... I should do a look with my new palette. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love shimmers. I'm putting that where Saute once was. This one is going to go... Let's put that there. That is going to take the place of Jamocha. I actually think it's similar to Jamocha. If you see the pans there, so similar, the colors in the pan. I know it's a little bit warmer, but... It's going where Jamocha once was. This is a no-brainer, if you could tell. I think this is also from the Chasing Rainbows palette, and I accidentally poked a hole in it before. This is just gonna do exactly what Henna used to do. The shimmer is coming from that shadow, or a shadow on my finger. But that's going where Henna once was. And this is where I think I need to switch out these two, because this is going to go in the place of Amber, and this one's going to go where Sorrel is. Ooh. Almost stabbed it. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost stabbed it again. Okay. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. Look how cute this palette is. I think it's so cute. And for me, I think it's perfect because there's some fun in it. Like the brown sugar palette, there's some fun things I can do. This, um, oh my gosh, me what is it called? This one, Melody, is such a beautiful duochrome-y, I think. Like, so, so high impact, so shiny. And this one next to it from Chasing Dreams is also so beautiful and can be used in the inner corner or by itself. I can do a pinky look with this shadow, that one and that one, and darkening it up with that. I can do a more silvery, taupey look with this one. Um, that one and that one and that like I think I could do something neutral something more silvery and something pinky um, All in this palette and that reminds me of brown sugar where I could do something neutral orangey Add saute in for a special pop. I just think this is so cute. So we're done with part two now This is my pan that palette for 2021. I hope you're as excited as I am We're gonna go on to bonus round of me trying to make the top of this look cute and customized like my own palette that I just made and we'll see how that goes. With this palette, you see the cover, it's not my favorite. We're going to try something different. We're going to try using some of the glitters that before I decided I don't like pressed glitters because of the environment. I'm trying to be a little bit better. I'm going to put some of the glitters on top of here and seal it. And we're going to try to see if that works. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. I don't know how I'm going to start this. I'm going to put on a layer of Mod Podge now, I think, and put glitter on it and then do another layer of Mod Podge and more and more. So let's just, tr let's just begin like that. And I want to use some of this Trippin' on Skies glitterly obsessed. I thought this was so pretty. to add this. This is a shadow from the Sweet Talk palette. And this rolled into my project. See how it is beautiful, but this is what made me finally decide like, yeah, I don't think I want to use pressed shadows because I know I'm not going to be good at properly cleaning it off my face and 
I'm trying to be a little bit more environmental. I know there's there's more things I could do that I'm not doing. Little by little is what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to be more mindful in general. I think this finer glitter is working out more than the chunky glitter. I'm going to let this dry and then come back. I'm going to do the second layer right now. I'm going to do a little bit of Mod Podge again. And I'm going to add some of this from the Orangey Glad palette. If I wanted to use pressed glitters, I totally would be all over this baby. Okay, I'm going to call that layer number two. Hello. It's been a little while. This is after the second layer. I'm going to add another layer. Yeah, I don't know. It's looking kind of cool. Looking a little weird, I guess, but kind of cool at the same time. I think I want to add some of this one in. This one's called uh, Dream About Me. So that's it right now. And we'll see how it dries. Okay, I've made a final decision. This is where it is after the third layer. I like it. It's super sparkly. My final decision is bringing in the big guns. I found this old Give Face Cosmetics face glitter that I had bought. That's stars. Because I feel like we need some, like, shapes. <laughs> I'm going to start with sprinkling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get that little babe back on the horse. Oh, my God. I already kind of love it. Now the Mod Podge is going to make it move anyways. But I kind of want a rough spreading out of that. Maybe a little bit more. Because I like it. I'm liking the stars. Or is that too much? Am I going too far? We're going to try with that. Sorry, I'm trying to get these stars to stay. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I think that's the end of the video because honestly, I just need to end it now. Sorry guys, this video is probably so long and so chaotic and messy, but I hope you liked the video a little bit and I hope you're doing well mentally and physically, blah, blah, blah. I really do mean it. I really hope all of you are doing well. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget about the Black Lives Matter movement. Don't forget to be kind and a little bit more patient with other people during these weird ass times and i will talk to you later bye goodbye bye bye